we all grow up in families. And so I think part of the, the reason why my novels have, I think part of the reason why they've, they've, they've connected with people is that they're really family stories. They're really uh, relationships about people in different generations trying to connect, trying to understand each other. And in the Mountains Echo, it really is about a love between inside family, how people connect, how people, uh, the inherent push and pull of people that live within a family, the ways in which they hurt each other, the ways, you know, they, they find ways to be altruistic towards each other. Those things are, to me, just so rich thematically and just such really fertile ground for writing. It's difficult to say there was a single moment of inspiration for And the Mountains Echoed, but I think the idea for it was with me probably as far back as 2007. I uh, went to Afghanistan with the UN Refugee Agency uh, to visit with uh, returning refugees in Afghanistan and visited a number of villages where I met people who were trying to make a living, restart their lives in Afghanistan after being away for a long time. And one particular aspect of that that really struck me was the lengths to which people went to survive the winters, which are so brutal and so cold in Afghanistan. There's heavy snowfall. And in every community that I went, they would lose routinely five, 10 children um, uh, every winter because of the really unforgiving elements. And so when I came home uh, after that trip, I started thinking about what I'd heard and the stories that people had told me. And an idea took place of a family, a small family living in a remote village in Afghanistan and having to make a decision, a decision that for most of us would be you know, unbearable and almost unthinkable. And yet they have to make this decision for the survival of the family. This act of desperation is a relationship between a brother and a sister who love each other, but who become the un unwitting victims of their family's despair. And so this particular event, the rupture of this family, particularly the relationship between the brother and sister that's broken, then became the heart of the book. I, I like to find my titles in poems. Uh, a Thousand Splendid Sons, for instance, came from a, a line of poetry as well. And I ran into this poem called The Nurse's Song, and there's a, a line that ends a stanza, and the line is, and all the hills echoed. And I found that to be very beautiful and evocative. I changed the hills to mountains <laughs> for um, obvious reasons because of Afghan's topography, but also because mountains are so pervasive in this book. And an, a couple of the pivotal events of the novel take place you know, before these mountains. Um, and I kind of like the idea of just the way, you know, sound will echo off a mountain, that these events echo uh, throughout the book and they kind of ripple out outwards and they touch the lives of people that may or may not even be aware of, of these things that have happened uh, and the lives of people who may not even be born yet. And so that kind of uh, uh, idea of, 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 of the consequences of an event kind of echoing out and rippling out kind of really appealed to me. So I thought that to be a, um, and the mountains echoed, I thought that to be a fit title for, for this book.